more beautiful the higher we go. And again, we are on a deer trail. They seem to have mapped out our climb for us. I would like to thank them for that. It's gorgeous. What was that? Oh, I'm waiting. I'm right here. It's stunning, isn't it? The view. I can't look. Okay, don't look then. Now this, my friends, is what I call mountain climbing. <coughs> Excuse me. It's pretty steep here. Are you okay? What's wrong? Just follow the trail, the deer trail. Come up this way toward me over here. Taking a little break on the windy hillside. It is a bit steep. If you can check out the horizon. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's see how steep it is. It's also pretty steep down there. Julie's got a little bit of a so I might head back down. Because it is off trail. We don't have to have any trail. But it's a beautiful view. Here at the top, it looks like somebody had a little camp at one time. I don't see any burnt wood. There's a little fire ring, some rusted steel can that I can't make out the label on. There's a pole betwixt these two trees. It looks like somebody could put a tarp over it. It's, uh, it's quite a lovely view and well worth the hike. So I'm about to head back down and hook back up with Julie so we can go home, have some dinner. I'll get some video on the way down. Ciao. I am departing this view to head back down and hook up with my wife. So, that's the town that we live in. It is beautiful up here on the top of this little mountain. Put the camera away, it's gonna get steep in a bit. I'll need to use my trekking poles. So I gotta make sure I'm coming down in the right spot too. So I can, I don't wanna come to a sheer cliff. I'll make sure I get back down the way I came up. So, after a long time of talking to him on the phone, Sarge, my coworker, was finally able to pick me out with his binoculars on the peak. Alrighty, talk to you soon, bye. This looks like a steep descent. And I'm not even at the steep part yet. So I don't know how long it's gonna take me down off of this mountain. But there's sufficient daylight left, so I'm not worried. Yeah, this is the dirt and grass and rock part. Getting down to a part that's mostly just rock, some of them loose, soft ground, so, these are coming down, a lot easier.
like to camp up here one time. I almost forgot. Hey, John Fenton, how are you doing? After making my way down through this crap, I'm thinking those barren rocks below me are gonna seem easy. That tree is my reference point. So that's the direction of the drop off I'm going for. Made it through the dry thicket jungle. Now I'm gonna navigate these rocks to get back to Julie. And then we will get down the rest of the mountain. It's pretty. It's a good thing I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not even afraid of falling. Falling doesn't scare me either. It's a hard surface waiting for you at the bottom that would concern me. But I do feel a bit like a mountain goat over here. I feel like I'm about to play Marco Polo in a minute to figure out where Julie is. Hey Julie, can you hear me? All right, I'm on the right way. Marco, Marco. <laughs> I'm coming. What? I hear you, I don't see you yet. But I'm coming. Hey, there you are. I was able to find the same path back, more or less. I love you. There's my jewel. 